Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies, in betweens, and OGs. Okay, give me some that boop, cause you the dopest, and we know this. Yes, I want you guys to know that I am so grateful and thankful and appreciative for all of your love, support, all of the likes, the comments, all of the love, the understanding that you send towards me, that you give to me, it is a blessing. You guys are a blessing to me just as you see that I can be a blessing to you by helping you out in the best way that God is allowing me to. And I want you guys to know that you are amazing. It does not matter where you are in your healing journey. It does not matter where you are in your life journey. You are amazing and you're doing the best you can. Just don't give up. Keep going, baby. This lifetime is a lifetime of healing, okay? So make sure that through your healing, and while you're healing, that you're enjoying the present moment, the people, the circumstances, and the situations that bring you happiness and joy and that add to your healing, okay? So wishing you guys and always sending you guys so much love. Hey, my babes. I am not quite home yet, but I had to get on here to see what is going on, okay? with my beautiful soul family's love life okay what's going on <laughs> what's going on with you guys in general okay we're gonna just pull some general messages with our the truth is deck and we're gonna see what's going on what is the truth in regards to this connection okay that you are currently in currently dealing with or you could be contemplating on leaving all right or you could be single as hell and spirit is going to let you know that that person that you have been manifesting, not only has been manifesting you, baby boy or baby girl, but they're coming, okay? So let's see what the truth is when it comes to the connection that you're dealing with, okay? What is the truth? What is the truth? So we have guarded, closed heart is holding your relationship back. So you could be guarded or this person is guarded, okay? And I'm hearing for good reason, especially if you're the guarded one, okay? I feel like this person did something to portray your trust or to rub you the wrong way to put your guards up, okay? So you have a wall around your heart or this person is guarded in regards to commitment because they have past hurts that they have yet to deal with, okay? Or they could be currently dealing with. So this is either a confirmation in regards to your heart is guarded towards this person because you have went through a lot in past relationships or you went through a lot in this relationship or this person's heart is guarded because they've been through a lot in past relationships, okay? And even though they want to be with you, they still have healing to do because you don't want to go with someone that is non-committal or that has a closed heart. You won't get the love you deserve. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have lust, sexual chemistry, but no depth here. All right. So for a lot of you guys, just be careful because whoever you're dealing with, or whoever's coming in, they only want sex. Yes, the sex is going to be amazing, but they have nothing else to bring. No mental stimulation, no emotional you know, fulfillment, no spiritual guidance, or I'm hearing no type of equally yoked when it comes to your spirituality or your religion or God fearing, you know, like practices that you do. They are only interested in the sexual healing that you provide, the sexual pleasures, the sexual escapades, your yams, your lotus, your wang, okay? Because you are a chosen one, because you are a high divine being, your sex is also out of this world, 
all right? But I feel like this person's sex is good because they've had so many partners, okay? And this is what I'm strongly picking up. So maybe you're also picking up on this as well. Like, um, I feel like you don't really want to be with me long term like this person could be saying they want to like they could be manipulating you for some of you guys and for others of you they're just showing you with their actions that they just want sex and nothing more okay so be careful in regards to that because you don't want to get confined in any type of connection or relationship that is going to for some this person wants to get you pregnant okay they want to put sex magic on you they want to whip you so good that you would be paying their bills, giving them anything they want, man or woman, is what I'm hearing, okay? So just be careful. All right, we starting off with the warning here. Let's see what else. What other truth needs to be known here? What other truth needs to be known here? Okay. So... Spirit could be advising you, is what I'm hearing, to just be this person's friend. You don't have to be friends with benefits. That shit don't work, okay? So, Spirit is saying, be this person's friend if you're already their friend. Just keep it like that, okay? Don't make it more than what it is because, unfortunately, with this person, you're not going to get a real commitment, okay? Now, for others of you, I'm also hearing that whoever you're dealing with, they have a best friend or a friend, this is either at work or in general, that they have sex with. And you don't know this, okay? I will reiterate, you do not know this. All right, this is a friend that for some of you, they could bring around you, they have introduced you to, or the family have introduced you to this friend and you didn't know that this friend is having sex with your person. And this is why your person's heart is completely guarded because not only are they dealing with you yeah they have feelings for you and you want something more out of this relationship if it's just starting off if y'all you know haven't solidified what this is is what i'm truly picking up or this person could be coming towards you so just be aware that this person's heart is completely shut they're completely non-committal and they're only going to want sex and friendships from you so be very careful. Now, like I was saying, the person that you're dealing with, right? If this is, you know, new or you reconnected with this person and you know, you probably shouldn't have reconnected with this person for some of you guys, right? This person has a friend that they have made an agreement with to be friends with benefits, to have each other's back is what I'm hearing as well, to be there for each other but mainly is sex. And the crazy part is this friend that they're having sex with brings nothing else but sex. And if it's not a friend, Spirit is saying that you think that this connection is going to go deeper, especially if this is a reconnection or a connection with someone you've never had a relationship with. You think that this is going to go deeper, but it's not. It really is not, okay? This is going to be nothing but a situation shit. So please be careful and make sure you ask the crucial questions, right? When you're dating, when you're getting to know someone, when you want something long-term, say it, right? And then be aware of how this person reacts to it and the actions that they display going forth. If they don't display actions of showing you that they want you and only you, spending quality time with you, doing necessary, not only emotional, but physical things to prove that they only want you and you, and that they wanna move this connection from the friend zone to a full-blown commitment eventually into marriage, you have to pay attention, especially nowadays, because people will string you along they will do what you allow them, okay? So this is a situation ship. Just have fun and don't expect a commitment, Spirit is saying, okay? So some of you guys have this person coming in. If you want to have sex with this person, that is completely up to you, okay? But you don't want to create a soul tie or a bond or bind yourself to someone that you're not meant to be with, okay? But this could also be just God bringing you this person or you met this person just so you can have some fun. 
Get out the house, meet new people, get out your comfort zone. You don't have to have sex, I will reiterate again, okay? And I would not look any deeper into this connection because either both of y'all have your heart closed or this person for sure, okay? And it's just going to end up as a friends with benefits if you do choose to have sex. If you don't, this could be just a friend that you have fun with and pretty much I'm here preoccupying your time until that right person that is for you comes in the picture or comes back in the picture for some of you guys. Let's see what else. What is the truth about your situation? What is the truth about your situation? What is the truth? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So... We have forgiveness, right? Forgiveness will benefit this relationship, okay? So they don't want to lead you on is what I'm hearing. I don't know who you're dealing with, but this could just be a friend that wants something more with you and maybe you don't want a commitment with this person is also what I'm hearing. Or it could be that you want a commitment with this person, but this person doesn't want a commitment with you. And... Spirit is saying, like, this person doesn't want to lead you on with this forgiveness card. Let me back this up. Not only do they not want to lead you on, they, you know, are going to ask for your forgiveness if they have led you on in any type of way. Because regardless whether this person wants a deep commitment or not, they do value you. They do have fun with you. They value your opinion. They think that you are down to earth. You're handsome. You're gorgeous. You have a lot going for yourself. But this person has a lot of traumas and healing to do before they could even get into a connection, Spirit is saying. So Spirit is saying if you felt as though, you know, you spent some time trying to be with this person or you had the notion or the end goal of being with this person, just forgive yourself and get out of it while you can. Just, you know, solidify this is strictly platonic. This is strictly friends. And then keep this person as a friend. If you've already had sex with this person, you know, if y'all are able to still be friends, then still be friends. Have fun. Be lighthearted, okay? Um, now, for others, your person, like I said, is having sex with a friend. Could be a coworker friend. Could be a friend from the past. Could be a friend they just met. And they lie to you in some form and fashion saying either they don't talk to this person or this person is just a friend. This could be the same sex or the opposite sex is what I'm hearing. And once you find this out, whether it's through me or through your own research and digging is what I'm hearing, this person is going to ask for forgiveness. Give them forgiveness, but that doesn't mean you have to keep being in this relationship, okay? Because the truth is the other car that came out is confined. You're going to feel trapped in this connection. Why you're going to feel trapped is because you're going to not trust this person anymore. Because while this person could have just been honest with you and say, you know what, you know, I am talking to another friend and you, um, I'm not quite sure what I want right now, but I do not want to lose you. You know, let me date you. Let me see how this goes. But I am also talking to other people. So you could also talk to other people. They didn't do that. Now, if you were in a commitment in a relationship with this person, yeah, this person fucked up. They literally, I'm hearing for some, fell for this friend. And they made it seem like the relationship they had with, with you was trapping them. Like you were the worst person. Like they were really talking bad about you. I'm going to be honest. With whoever this third party is, this friend, this other woman, this other man. And... The reason why it seemed like they never fully gave themselves to you because they never did. We're still on the relationship it, because they never did. They were fully guarded, non-committal, wasted your time. For some, they had friends, plural, that they were sleeping with. Wow. And for others, it could just be a specific friend. And if you choose to forgive, sure. But you don't have to take this person back because you are going to have mad trust issues. Now, you can take this person back, Spirit is saying, if 
you know, this person is truly aligned to give you what you deserve and definitely not playing games and is going to commit to you full throttle, whether this was a previous relationship and you broke up or whether this is someone that you're dating that is also dating their friend that you don't know about. And, you know, God and your benevolent team wants you to have the best of the best. So this is why they're letting you know this so you can be privy, so you can be aware. But the truth is, is that it's probably not going to go anywhere. This person has to speak up. This person has to be honest. Or if you find something in their phone, hint, hint, because you might speak up and be honest and tell this person what you've seen, how you feel about it, what's going on. And that may change the trajectory of this connection. In regards to like, a friend that is dating you and secretly dating another friend. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's shysty behavior. That's real sneaky, so I wouldn't even trust that person. But everybody's situation is different and I don't judge, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to let you know what's going on. Now, like I said, some of you guys are newly dealing with someone that you are starting off as friends with or this person is coming in and they're gonna wanna start off as friends. That connection is not gonna go anywhere. Especially my feminines, if you give it up too fast. If you give it up too fast to this person, you're going to, for some of you, be victimized because you haven't had sex in a long time. And for others, you're going to fall into the illusion that this person may want to be one more with you, but it's not true. That's my masculines and my feminines. When this person just really just want to be your friend. But they're hella attracted to you, so y'all might slip up have sex, get drunk, you know, do to do. And in your mind, you're thinking like, okay, well, you know, this person is liking me. They're going to take it further, but that could be furthest from the truth is what I'm hearing. Again, if you were in a relationship with this person, you broke up with this person, this person, the you know, they could not commit to you because they were dealing with other people at their job. Um, while they were away from you, listening to friends. This person really thought that you had them trapped or confined. It's, it's interesting. And I'm hearing that that's furthest from the truth. You allow this person space. You allow this person to, you know, go out with their friends. Like you never was trying to trap this person. And you're the type of person, if something is not meant to be, you will let it go. You're not going to hold on to something that's not meant for you. Mm. Let's get one more. What is the truth about this connection? So we have, yeah, wasted time. The one you love is afraid to commit. Can't make this shit up. It says attract, I'm sorry, attached to unhealthy behaviors and substances. Yeah. And this is why they pick the friend every time. This is why they're still dealing with the friend. Because this person has a sexual addiction, a drug addiction. And if you choose to try to make this more than what it is, which is just friends, not only are you going to waste your time, you're going to get addicted to someone sexually or energetically that is not for you. Period, point blank. This is for my men and my women, my feminines and my masculines. If you choose to take this person back or try to delusionize yourself to think that this person wants more, you are going to feel confined and trapped while this person is out here doing them, while their heart is guarded and they're non-committal. Yes, they're going to try to apologize. Yes, they're going to feel guilty because they never actually made themselves clear in regards to them dealing with a friend at work or a friend that they knew for a long time from the past or just recently while dating you, while being in a relationship with you, doing foul things. I'm, I'm hearing for some of you, you could have been in a relationship with this person for quite some time and they refused to kick some type of addiction and they wasted a lot of time just doing what they want or thinking that they can get away with what they wanted because they were addicted to sex, addicted 
to whoever this friend is or just being promiscuous is what I'm truly hearing. All the while, yeah, they thought that they were getting away. It's victorious. You will overcome any problems within this connection. They feel like they can have their cake and eat it too. They could feel like they could date you and deal with this friend because they're not saying anything. They felt like they could, you know, live a double life, be with you and then be with this friend on the side. All the while, they're wasting their time fucking over a earth angel, a gem, a rarity as yourself. Wow. And they're still watching you. You broke up with this person. You're not talking to this person. And when you find out that this person is dealing with a particular friend you intuitively knew that they were dealing with or third party, you're going to just break it off. You're going to break it off. Let's get some advice. Okay. So this could be also a warning of someone coming in trying to do this to you. Okay. So just be careful of who you let into your energy. What's some advice? We have new love. All my cards are upside down, so don't worry about it. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. So leave this person behind. Keep this person as a friend if you are newly dating this person. If this person is a friend, but you felt like you could have something deeper if you broke it off with this person and you're like, I don't make my exes my friends, that's fine too. Just move forward, okay? They're already dealing with someone else and you have new love coming in. This person is very codependent. They need their ego stroke. They need attention, right? They also have fear of commitment. One more. It says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This person is also dealing with someone else with this new love. They're dealing with someone else behind your back. Whether you're dating this person, whether you know, you're know you dealing with this person and you think things are going to get deeper, whether you reconcile with this person, whether you think that this person has truly seen the light when it comes to who you are and what you bring in your worth, they haven't. They haven't. And the truth is, they rather give this new love a chance because this new love just wants to dabble in the toxic behaviors with them. This new love is okay with them being guarded and is okay with being friends with benefits. This new love also wants to trap this person with a baby. Or I'm hearing financial entrapment, whatever that means, okay? They actually want to give whoever this friend is a chance. Yep. I spent the deck. It says, let your friends help you. Whoever this friend is, this third party, this other person, they actually want to be with them. And they have been getting to know them unbeknownst to you, wasting your time. And for some of you, you could have dedicated years to this person. And this person is... They're, they're the worst. I'm going to be honest. So what's going to happen with this connection with him and this friend or her and this friend? They're going to learn a lesson. Yep. I knew it. They're going to learn a lesson. Yep. That you were the one for them. They're going to learn that lesson. That you were the one. Or it could have been the one. Yeah, I cannot make this shit up, y'all. Unrequited. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. They're going to realize that they literally picked a friend over you, especially if you've been in a commitment long term with this person. Now, if you've been just getting to know this person and you wanted to get out of the friend zone into something more deeper or that's where you thought it was going, this person is going to pick someone else and... They're going to be super disappointed, but that's their karma, man. Because that's what I asked. What's their karma? They're going to have to learn a lesson about unrequited love. You are what you give. This person cannot expect a commitment from someone if they're non-committal. You are the energy you exude. That means if you keep attracting non-committal energies, then it's something that you haven't healed within yourself that you keep accepting these energies into yours or you're non-committal, okay? And this person 
is wanting commitment without putting out the work or being in an actual relationship. Like they want the benefits of a relationship without actually being in a fucking relationship. Yeah, engagement, flirt, finances. This person could just be literally wanting to be with this friend just for finances, a come up, yeah? Even though they're unequally yoked and this person <laughs> knows that they're not. Love yourself first. You got religious factors unequally yoked, but they still want to make the effort because this friend has some form of finances. So they're going to flirt and gaslight and try to keep it lighthearted. And this is all behind your back. Okay. We're going to leave that there, my babies. And this is the message for those that have, you know, options coming in. This is a part of your options. And this is for those that are dealing with someone that they want to leave or someone that, you know, you feel as though they're dating other people. They are, especially a friend. I love, love, love you to life until next time. Bye.